Welcome! This is a KDAC News Update. I'm Reina Cavazos. Winners of the Richland Student Government Association were recently announced. Adrian Bayer won the Vice Presidency and Vin Tuya, a political science major, the position of SGA Senator. Current President Joey Todasek was elected this past spring. 111 Richland students cast their votes. SGA new leaders represent student concerns and work on finding solutions to student problems. KDAX TV congratulates SGA leaders for their dedication and achievement. In more campus news, Richland students should think ahead before getting into credit card debt. Beginning February 2010, college students around the nation less than 21 years of age will be affected by the new credit card laws, the Accountability, Responsibility and Disclosure Card Act of 2009 was signed into law May 22 by President Obama. This rule prohibits credit card issuers to anyone under the age of 21 unless they have a parent as a co-signer or a proof of their ability to make payments. It also excludes card companies from offering free gifts like t-shirts for a card application on campus sponsor events. We talked to Richland students to get their reaction to legislation restricting their financial freedom. Here is what they had to say. Why do you want to wait till you're 21? to get your credit card. Aren't you when you're 18, aren't you supposed to, you're an adult, right? You're 18, you can do whatever you want, get your credit. I'm under my father's roof, so you know, when I turn 18, I'm going to college, you know. So I'm on my own and if I can't help my own credit or establish my own credit, then it's like I have to go back to my parents for money and I, I don't want to feel like that. 18 is uh, considered as an adult, so they I think they have the right to, you know, start doing their things on their own and not depend on their parents. Now let's turn it over to Mary Chanel with the entertainment report. Hi, I'm Mary Chanel, and now it's time for your entertainment connection. Even though Michael Jackson's death brought the entertainment world to a halt, Jackson's movie and song, This Is It, which features the Jackson brothers, will be in theaters on October 28th. On VH1, For the Love of Ray J2 premieres its second season November 2nd. Since last season ended with broken hearts and sex tapes, 19 classy women will be competing for Ray J's love and affection. Like always, more drama and nicknames await. For all you obsessed Twilight fans, the sequel, New Moon, will be released November 20th. But for those who cannot wait for the movie to come out, the soundtrack will be released October 16th and features Death Cab for Cutie with the single Meet Me on the Equinox. Now I know most of you are waiting impatiently for the Left 4 Dead 2 and feel like the zombie apocalypse can't come any sooner. Well, you are in for a treat, my gamer friends. A group of PC modders have created a new scenario, Dead by Dawn. It takes place in the Crossroads Mall, featured in the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead. It will be coming out this Halloween. It seems that Insomniac Games is in the works for the third installment of the video game Resistance. There is also a Resistance film in the making which will be produced and distributed by Columbia Pictures. The plot of the movie is like the game where it centers on an alien invasion. For a sneak peek of what's in store for you, check out their website at www.resistanceseries.com. Couples Retreat took first place at the box office making $34.3 million and dropping Zombieland to second place with $14.8. Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, Paranormal Activity, and Toy Story 3D ran out the top five. I'm Mary Schnell, and you've been connected. Thanks, Mary. If you have news ideas that you want us to cover, contact us at chronicle at dccd.edu. For KDOX TV, I'm Reina Cavazos. Till next time.